Hey Kipsters, welcome to CGI for the day. I am so excited to jump in with you as always. Sorry that I'm holding this paper up. It keeps falling off my wall and I cannot find more tape in my house. So I'm going to hold this one up and the rest of it should be good to go. Let me go over the problem from last, from yesterday with you and then I'll show you how I solved it and we'll jump right into a new problem for today. Hopefully those papers will stay up on the wall. Okay, so our problem from yesterday was Ms. Smith had 61 apple slices. She wants to put 10 on each plate. How many plates does she need? So I'm going to flip it and try to show you. Here we go. What I drew. Okay. So I knew that she had 61 apple slices, and I knew that they needed to be in groups of 10. So I drew groups of 10. 10, 10, 10. And I counted as I went to make sure that I wasn't going past 61. So I had 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Hmm. She had 61 apple slices. So that means that there was one apple slice that doesn't go in a group of 10, but... Do you think she wants to throw that away? I don't either. I think she probably wants to see if it and eat it. So that one needs to go on its own plate. So I had 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and one. So my number sentence, which got a little bit cut off. We'll see if I can fix that. Nope, it's kind of hard to see. We'll do our best. Oh, there we go. My number sentence that I wrote was... 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 1 equals 61. So she needed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 plates in total. Hopefully you got that same answer as me. I'm going to get rid of this silly piece of paper that won't stay up. And we will go over today's problem. I'm going to hold it like this so that you don't get to read it before I tell it to you. So my story today is about Mrs. Ellis and her dog, Bentley. Now, you know, we tell lots of stories about Mrs. Ellis and Bentley, and we know Mrs. Ellis loves to buy Bentley fun toys to play with. So in this story, Miss Ellis called me and she said to me, Miss Schultz, I bought so many new toys for Bentley. I said, well, how many did you buy, her? Uh, buy him? And she said, well, I bought Bentley 44 toys. It's a lot of toys, Kipsters. But then she decided she wanted to put the toys away into boxes, but she only wanted to put seven toys in each box. So she wants to know, how many boxes will she need to clean up Bentley's toys? Let me uncover it now, and we can read this story together two times before you tell it back to me. Mrs. Ellis has 44 toys for Bentley. She wants to put seven toys in each box. How many boxes will she need? Okay. Mrs. Ellis has 44 toys for Bentley. She wants to put seven toys in each box. How many boxes will she need? You tell it back to me. Let's go. Let's hear it. Cover it up. Tell it back to me, kiddos. Awesome. I have a question for you. Do you think Mrs. Ellis is going to need more or less than 44 boxes? It's going to be up to you to solve and find out. I'm going to uncover this. I'm going to start the timer for um, four minutes, and you are going to get out that pencil and paper and show me what you think of this problem, okay? All right, here we go. Uncovered. Go for it, my friends. Great job, Capsters. I can already see that neat and organized work. Keep it up. Don't forget to label all the parts of your problem.
Don't forget to write a number sentence that you think matches your problem. Can't wait for you to help me out. Make sure that you are ready to share your work. Just about one minute left. Great job, kiddos. All right, kiddos, it is time to go over this awesome problem about Mrs. Alice and her dog, Bentley. So for this problem, I know that Mrs. Alice has 44 toys in total. I know that she wants to put them into boxes to clean them up, but she only wants to put seven toys in each box. That's probably how many can fit in there. So what I need to figure out is how many boxes do I need? So I'm going to start by getting out 44 cubes to represent those 44 toys so I can figure out how she's going to arrange them. So I'm going to get out 10... 20, 30, 40, and goodness, just dropping stuff. One, two, three, four, 44 cubes. Okay, so what I know is she wants to put seven in each box. So I'm going to take my 44 cubes and I'm going to make groups of seven and put them together so that that can show the seven toys that go in each box. So I know this is 10. If I take away 3, that's 7. So here's 7. Okay, same thing. 10, take away 3, that's 7. I'll just keep the ones I have extra and I'll make them into groups of 7 as well. 10, take away 3, that's a group of 7. One, 10, take away 3, that's a group of 7. Okay, so now I have 3s and a 4. Oh, perfect. 4, 1, 2, 3 more, that makes 7. There's another group of 7. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm going to take them, put them together, and make a group of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, take off two. Okay, so I have seven, 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 and two. Hmm. Do you think she's just going to throw Bentley's toys away because she can't put them in a group of seven? No, I don't think Miss Ellis would do that. I think she would put them in their own box. So they don't go in a group of seven, but they have to go in their own box. She's not going to throw them away. So there we go. We'll put them in their own box. So now I'm going to draw to represent what I did. So I made groups of seven. So here is a box, and in it I put seven toys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to write a seven on the bottom to keep track as I go. Okay, that was this group. Here's another group of seven. So seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that got me to seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Great. Another one. Here's this group. Seven toys inside. I'm at 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Great. Now I'm on my fourth one. Group of seven. 
So is that 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28? That was this one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Great. I have two groups of 7 left and a group of 2. So here's a group of 7. And that gets me to 20, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. That's that one. One more group of 7. Awesome. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I was at 35. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. And then I have, so that was that group, and now I have a group of two. One, two, so it was a 42, 43, 44. Perfect, that got me to exactly what I wanted it to. So, how many boxes did she need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes. Because even though this box isn't full, she does need it to hold the toys. She can't put more than seven in a box, and she doesn't want to throw those toys away. So my number sentence is going to be seven plus seven plus seven plus seven, plus seven, plus seven, plus two equals 44. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes. She will need seven boxes. Great job, Kipsters. I'm gonna leave you as always with one problem to do, totally on your own. Here we go, oh, it's about Mr. Bucker today, awesome. Mr. Booker has 59 pieces of candy. He wants to put eight pieces in each bag. How many bags will he need? Same strategy we've been working on. Think about your 59 pieces in total. He wants to put eight pieces in each bag. So eight, eight, eight. How many baggies is he going to need? You know, if he can't fit eight in that last bag, he might need an extra bag because we know Mr. Booker, he's not going to throw away candy. So really think about what kind of drawing would make sense. Pause it here. Show your work. You got it, and I will see you tomorrow. Great job, Gipsters.